Travers and welcome to another one of Mark's Risky Ramblings and I'm coming to you from the capital of Scotland, Edinburgh. We're here in Princess Street Gardens, which is close to Edinburgh Castle, which is behind me, which uh, I visited yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful. And will you look at this weather? I mean, it's sunny, it's, it's, it's nicely, it's the 1st of November, imagine that! So I guess Scotland must love me as much as I love Scotland. Anyway, I'm not here to talk to you about Edinburgh nor the weather, I'm here to talk to you about the resurrection, if I can call it that, of Mortlach. Mortlach, the beast of Dufftown, or the wild child of Speyside, is coming back! Because you may know, for the longest time, the only official release of Mortlach was the 15-year-old in the Fauna and Flora series. But then in 2015, Diageo decided to premiumize Mortlach, and they took the 15-year-old off the market and replaced it with a non-age statement called Rare Old. Then there was the 18-year-old, and there was a 25-year-old. But premiumization meant prices went up. They were bottled in 50 centiliter bottles, but if I calculate the price to 70 centiliter bottles, that would mean that the rare old was almost 100 euros, the 18 year old was 250 euros, and the 25 year old was 1000 euros. Crazy! And I think that that strategy has now backfired, and Yajo realized, ooh, they're not selling anymore. Our bottles are, are gathering dust on the shelves. And so they had, oh, I can only imagine the strategy sessions at Yaja's headquarters going, hmm, what are we gonna do to sell Mortlach again? But they've listened to us and they've decided to rebrand Mortlach and soon these will be available again. Three new releases replacing those older, much more expensive releases. They will now have uh, a 12 year old called the Wee Witchy. They will have the uh, 16 year old the distiller's dram and they will have a 20 year old cowie's blue seal and they will be priced let's say affordable for mortal man like you and me because the 12 year old will be at 55 euros while the 16 year old will be 90 euros and the, uh, the 20 year old will be 225 euros so much more affordable than the uh, previous releases all right so these are coming our way they will be hitting the shelves very soon we can only applaud that and I would like to try this new range, the 12, the 16 and the 20 euro on the nose. Very fruity. Very sweet. Oh, loads of fruits in here. Dark fruits, orange fruit, an orange marmalade, some plums. Not very spicy, but very accessible on the palate. Mmm, mmm, almost syrupy, a bit of a spicy kick now, but again dark fruit, and on the finish, it's actually quite long, and very pleasant, the 16, uh, the, the, uh, the 12 year old is already, well, top notch in my book, the 16 year old then, dark fruit as well, but more delicate, more almost feminine it's a bit sexy even dark for a bit more spices but more delicate than the 12 year old the 12 year old was meatier and more in your face this one is a little bit more restrained a bit more refined more delicate on the palate then side repeat meaty you can almost chew this 16 year old this distiller's dram very sweet, very fruity, honey and caramel, baked apples, some cinnamon, mmm, lovely. I like it. Well, maybe the 20 year old then, on the nose. Yet more delicate, and yet spicier as well. So they become more fragrant as they move in age, they become more delicate as they move up in age, and a little spicier as well. This one is more on white fruit with a bit of plum liqueur. Nice, on the palate. Well, not as syrupy as the previous ones. This is more, again, more delicate. I, I can only describe it as more delicate. Silky soft on the palate. Silky soft, dark and fruity, bit spicy. Mm. But the finish is quite nice here. Lingering a little bit with, with with a slight bitterness at the end, as if from Seville oranges. Well, the beast of Dufftown is back. 
that's not entirely correct because it's never been away. It's just been sitting on the shelves because it was uh, unaffordable uh, to you and me. It was just not affordable enough to sip. But now it's coming back in an affordable range that you and I can enjoy once again. And that is something we can only applaud. Mortlach, 12 year old, the wee witchy, named after the small still. The 16 year old, the stiller's dram. And then the 20 year old, Cowie's Blue Seal. Affordable and absolutely lovely. And to be honest, my favorite, there you have it. And that's all for this Whisker Rambling from Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. And I hope to see it one of Mark's Whisker Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you.